Alien species are animals and plants moved by humans outside their natural range, and some can represent a threat to biodiversity. The increase in globalization and associated increase in international transport, trade and travel are considered key factors in the movement of species around the globe. Indeed, introductions of alien species may occur either intentionally or accidentally through a number of pathways. Examples of pathways are the pet trade, horticulture, fishery and many others, including as contaminant of goods or hitchhikers through vectors such as flights and ships. Alien species are already well established among us, and despite their own doubtful cuteness, some can be a real threat. Those alien species which have an impact are considered invasive and are one of the key drivers of global biodiversity loss. Not all alien species are fit enough to adapt to a new environment, hence some may disappear if introduced into the wild. But others may thrive and spread and reproduce, threatening species and ecosystems, like the Nile perch introduced in Lake Victoria in Africa. The result was the disappearance of hundreds of endemic fish, a kind of impact which is not reversible. Unfortunately, this is not a game. A system has been developed by IUCN to classify alien species according to their impact on biodiversity. This system is called ICAT, which stands for Environmental Impact Classification for Alien Taxa. In ICAT, species are classified in a simple, objective and transparent way according to the magnitude of their impact, from massive to minimal concern. For example, a species is considered to have massive impacts when it leads to the extinction of native species and produce irreversible changes to ecosystems, like the Nile perch, which led to the extinction of hundreds of endemic fish. Understanding the magnitude of impact of each alien species is seen as critical to plan and prioritise measures to address this threat. If you want to know more, please visit www.iucn.org.